Logan Wall versus Nick McBride. The championship leader is the man who starts inside row number one of a racing. And it's a really nice start from Wally. Heimgartner draws level with his teammate. He'll have the inside run up towards turn one. Oh, McBride really coming across close to his teammate. Advantage Heimgartner, they wow. touch. They more than touch. They just about spear each other off. And it ruins both their moments. And McBride falling back through the pack. Davison with a really good run. And this is heavy stuff. His launch wasn't great, McBride, and he's in strife on the outside on the run up into turn two. So Heimgarten now under serious pressure, and Alex Davison from fourth to second. What a start from the President Limo Australia driver in car triple eight. Evans looking to follow him through, and this is tense stuff on the run up to the cutting. Oh, damage in the background. I think it was Stephen Grover just caught a piece of it. And could the challenge class pole sitter already be in trouble? But Wall checking out as a result. Oh, there's more oh, to wow. this. It's Twig as well. So our two fastest challenge class drivers, and it's plucked one of the wheels completely out. That's that, a big one, Krause. That's a huge impact. So just before the kink on the run up the hill towards the cutting, it's 191 kilometres an hour in a Porsche Carrera Cup car before they turn in. And the Vodafone safety car has already been called. Race control quick on the mark with that one. Such a dangerous part of the road, very narrow, not a lot of access to get cars out of the way. So the three-time champion in car 18, with the champion elect for this year in behind, Stephen Grove has got a large margin in the championship, but there's huge damage to the left front corner of Max Twig's car. It's gonna be interesting to dissect what went on there, but they all seem to check up. Everything that started at the front of the field there with those two Sonic cars banging wheels out of turn one had this ripple effect all the way down the back of the grid. And I think there might have just been some checking up going on down the back. And that's what's caught these guys out. Great to see both drivers okay out of their cars. What a shame. The champion elect, pretty much. Stephen Grove in the challenge class. And a former challenge class champion. So from up above, we'll watch the replay of the start. It was so close. Watch the two blue cars right at the very top. They try to give each other enough room, but they just got hooked up at the exit. And like you said, it really caused a ripple effect the whole way down through the pack. We're right aboard with Jackson Evans. He washed out of all this in P4. Jackson had a solid start. Wasn't quite so good as McConville's. Unfortunately for the Zagami Autosport driver, he was just hung oh. out to dry. Quite a big impact between the two Bob Jane cars as well. So that cosmic bride momentum. Heimgartner caught a very big slide across the road. And that opened it up to Davison. So watch the car. The 777 entry there. How's the impact? Great catch. And Davison sees them coming and will wrap them both up by the time they get up to turn two. And we're hearing reports that on the radio, Max Twig has been saying that he was pushed into the fence by Stephen Grove. So we'll confirm that. They're wheel to wheel there. There's a bump. Green car on the outside. Oh, no, just not enough room out over that exit curb there at Griffin's Bend, Blundstone Bend. You'll see it here. Back of shot right now, out wide. Oh. That is a very large impact. From Simon Ellingham's point of view, he was onto that quickly. The damage is already done to both Grove and Ellingham.